Hello and welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Terry. And in honor of Women's History Month, I'm honored and I'm excited to have two charter members of the San Jose chapter of the Lynx here with me today. So I'm excited to welcome to the set Miss Harriet Arnold and Miss Katranker Thompson. Thank you. Welcome to Thank the set, you. ladies. Thank I'm you. honored to have you ladies here and I'm excited to talk about the programs and just some of the things that you ladies are doing in the community. Community. So we're going to just jump right in. Um, first of all, could you just tell me and tell the viewers a little bit more about yourselves? Okay. Katranka Thompson, and I am a licensed clinical social worker, and I've been in the San Jose area since 1975. And the key uh, components to links, and as we started in the interest group, it was a very exciting time in 81, because the key components of care, of friendship, and service nice. was very important. And being from Louisiana mm -hmm. and going to grad school in Massachusetts and then coming to San Jose was quite a transition. Awesome. And being able to network with professional women was quite exciting. And so coming together to collaborate and think about projects that we wanted to work on, and then the collaboration moves into teamwork and you produce a, a project or an event in the community. And then that's the friendship part. Mm -hmm. And then you have the service part, yes. which um, once you have that program in the community, you think about, you sit back and say, you really have the potential to impact the community, the African-American community, and specifically the youth. I mean, we provided scholarships, and we've also um, introduced different artistic uh, venues that they may not in normal routine day-to-day -day function may not come across that awesome. so it's been very rewarding in that those two components for me thank you and could you tell me just a little bit more, more about yourself actually yes. you want me to meet my 37 year younger self <laughs> and what was it like in 1981 um, when the chapter was born mm -hmm. and formed I had actually come to San Jose because I got married awesome. and I knew no one mm -hmm. and, and had no family here. Mm -hmm. And so this was a real exciting time for me um, and initially a very lonely time, but at the same time uh, I was actually going to graduate school okay. and that's what brought me here awesome. to San Jose. And so marriage and going to graduate school mm -hmm. And when I started reflecting on your question as you were talking with Katranker, I thought about having um, the, the chapter forming. I had a two-year-old son. I'm in graduate school. I have a husband who's in Europe most of the time as a corporate, senior level corporate uh, person. Mm -hmm. And the group of ladies invited me to become a member of the Lynx Interest Group. I only knew one, okay. the lady that invited me, and this was a group of women that was primarily social workers, community activists, and women who did not work during the day who wanted to make a difference. Awesome. And their method of making a difference, and Katranka talked about the friendship and service, was through service. Mm -hmm. My motto is all about family, faith and service. So this was an, an unbelievable connection for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I have had lifelong friendships mm -hmm. um, with these women and they taught me so much about what a friend is mm -hmm. and what a friend does awesome. and the importance of service and how those two interconnect with each other. Awesome. Great. And that was important. And and just out of curiosity, you mentioned graduate school. Which school did you go I to? Actually, and I actually, when I came down, mm -hmm. I was working on my master's right. uh, at San Jose State University. Awesome. I then went on and received my doctorate mm -hmm. at the University of San Francisco. And I have been a professor and researcher for the last 18, 19 years awesome. and doing work at Stanford Thank as well. Thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you, ladies, Thank you. for coming to the show. And I'm excited 
excited to just learn um, and share with the viewers um, more about what the links are doing in the community. So um, first of all, could you just um, share with us, what was your inspiration or what was your motivation to um, bring a local chapter so you can maybe start with talking about um, the national mm -hmm. Links mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. and then we can go more into mm -hmm. what was the inspiration mm -hmm. for the local chapter. Oh, okay, okay. And let me just give um, mm -hmm. recognition to Priscilla Harris and Mary yeah. Washington, yes. who were the founders of the interest, interest group and pulled us together on that January 1981 awesome. uh, date. And from there, by June, we were a San Jose chapter, but we awesome. worked really hard doing between January and June just to give acknowledgement of those um, charter members Thank you. and very significant. We currently have five charter members out of the 23 mm -hmm. that were initiated in, in the chapter. In that are still local. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. And above ground. And <laughs> alive. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> five charter members. members. That's awesome. Yeah. So feel well, this, free to... Just the beginning, um, what is the links? First of all, right. we have uh, two founding members nationally. We're talking about the links. Mm -hmm. And that's Sarah Scott and Margaret Hop Hop Hawkins, mm -hmm. who actually came together in Philadelphia and formed the, the, the organization. And this is 72 years ago, which is a long time. Mm -hmm. And the links continues to uh, evolve and develop. Um, it is an international um, organization, corporation, um, not-for-profit, mm -hmm. and we have, uh, and this is again 1946 that it was to, um, formed, and by the co-founders here, and we have 15,000 professional women across 41 states, uh, District of Columbia, and mm -hmm. Commonwealth of Bahamas. Nice. And we have 285 chapters throughout these, these locations. So um, the facets, there are five facets. At, at the time in 1981, there were four. Mm -hmm. And then most recently, they have, we've evolved into five facets. And then Harriet, um, Link Harry can talk more about those facets. But we have, and this is where our program begins under these particular facets, and as um, Link Harriet was saying, they our local goals and objectives are attached to the national goals and objectives. And first of all, we have services to youth. We have um, international trends and services. We have national services. We have the arts. And then we have uh, health and human services. So under those five facets is where we began to, to begin our work and develop goals and objectives. Absolutely, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And would you like to um, Well, you know, I'm going to, that? again, since I'm visiting my 37-year younger self, yes. I, and I, I invite Katranka to, you know, to add as we, we chat, mm -hmm. I think about the national trends. I mm -hmm. want to start there mm -hmm. first. Because here this group of women came together and there was a need among African-American mm -hmm. women looking at cancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So our project those many years ago was Reach for Recovery, which was about African-American women and cancer and how it impacted us and having local projects mm -hmm. related to cancer. In addition, the 40 years ago, the Afro Center had was just you know emerging and needed all kinds of assistance and our chapter mm -hmm. helped with funding awesome. and I remember a very very large check you know how you have those gi giant size <laughs> yes. checks and we gave them several thousand dollars awesome. because they're celebrating their 40th year this year and we were just 37 years young but we saw that this was a community need now if we connect to our national trends mm -hmm the national trends that during that period was definitely about African-American women. We hadn't moved to our program facet of health and human services. It was, it was the national trends. Mm -hmm. So we refer to our, them as facets, but they're program facets that line up. In the area of international trends and that program facet, again, we're young, we're energetic, mm -hmm. And we actually won an award, a national award. Awesome. Um, and it was called the San Jose, San Jose Links with the Bahamas. And it was an international project with the Bahamas chapter. And in fact, uh, it was 
divided into three different pieces. Mm -hmm. One piece was we provided books. Mm -hmm. One of our members um, to an orphanage would mm -hmm. go and provide books, and her husband was stationed in that area, well, lived, he was a corporate vice president. The second piece mm -hmm. was that we provided volunteerism, and the third piece was pen pals. Mm -hmm. And her daughter and young son had pen mm -hmm. pals with Bahamians, mm -hmm young people and that's a we won a national award early mm -hmm. on for that program facet awesome. in the area of services to youth we were very young and having student conferences we began having high school conferences in um, all types of areas for high school students. Mm -hmm. We moved because we kept growing. We were at City College, then we were at Evergreen. Began the National had, you know, wanted us to look with our local high schools mm -hmm. in several areas. We had um, the George Washington Carver Project. We had just different mm -hmm. linkage so that you could look from the National to the local, mm -hmm. and you could see that thread. Absolutely. And then um, I love the arts. Mm -hmm. The arts chapter, we, at the time, National was encouraging the, uh, the different chapters to have unique arts projects. Mm -hmm. Ours was, I still, I get goose pimples. We brought Jacob Lawrence, thanks to our founder, mm -hmm. Mary Washington, the Jacob Lawrence. My, one, my son is an art director, mm -hmm. and Jacob Lawrence signed his mm -hmm. book, mm -hmm. awesome. you know, and he was just so, felt so good mm -hmm. about having Absolutely. the Jacob Lawrence sign his Jacob Lawrence art book for awesome. children. We also had a dance company that we um, actually provided um, lots of support to at that time and flowers again at our beginning because we had the four program facets so that's how you know again you'll hear mm -hmm. me go back and forth mm -hmm. from the national mm -hmm. to the local and yes our national does provide us with leadership mm -hmm. as to our program so that you can link from national seamlessly mm -hmm. from national to the local can I just interject a little bit? I do have yes. the actual programs that this is nice. in 1993 that we brought Jacob Lawrence to the forefront. Awesome. And this was this is a part of what I'm seeing in terms of the impact that our children and youth would normally not see that. Absolutely. In, so this was a Can clear. Can we get a close up of that? This is one that, of the original, original programs. programs. Nice. I also have the original program for what Link um, Harriet was talking about. This was held at Antioch Baptist Church, mm -hmm. and it was a family affair. We brought the community together, nice. and we focus on managing hypertension, how to keep men in, in your in your family healthy, preventing ho uh, homicide, sickle cell anemia, preventing alcohol and drug abuse in youth, and breast health program. So this awesome. is our actual program, so and this, this was in 1986. Oh my goodness. This was um, in 1986. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed that you still have these programs. Oh, oh my goodness. Awesome. I, oh, I yeah. have a whole, I started to bring my scrapbook. This is awesome. And I have quite a few original documents and programs beautiful. in their early years. Beautiful. And then the this last, is beautiful. this is the last one I wanted to share. I think yes. it's the last one I want. Oh, yes. No, the one about the, this is the 1995. Mm -hmm. yeah. We actually, this was the Booker T. Washington, Washington. American uh, African Youth American. Center. African American Youth Center. Awesome. We actually had buses brought in from different counties. Monterey. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we bused young people mm -hmm. from awesome. Monterey mm -hmm. uh, County, San Mateo County, and we received a three year grant. Awesome. Yes. That's awesome. The, I'm so excited to mm -hmm. hear more mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. your programs. We're going to take a pause okay. and we're going to come right back yeah. okay. and I, we're going to jump right back into programming. So thank you. Hold tight. We're going to be right back. Yeah. 
welcome back and we're going to continue um, with the discussion with charter members from the San Jose chapter of the Lynx and I'm excited um, you ladies we, where we left off we were talking about programming so um, if you can just um, finish telling us about some of your programming and your wonderful history behind programming if you want to just finish or continue with um, where we left off okay. I'm just going to again mm -hmm. go to our national mm -hmm. program facets right and I will probably end with the arts okay and when you look at each of the program facets we are an award-winning chapter awesome we have won national awards we have won regional uh, and area. western area yeah. awards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in areas, I'm thinking of the national trends now, in areas that you would not believe. For instance, mm -hmm. we were early award winners of a 10,000 step program. Awesome. Every meeting, mm -hmm. one of our members as a professor at San Jose State in kinesiology, mm -hmm. so she had us all walking, monitoring, sending emails, monitoring our <laughs> daily walks. <laughs> and if the meeting would start, president, I'd say, you know, call the meeting to order. Now, ladies, let's discuss your walks, you know? Link so-and-so, you need some additional steps. We won a national that award awesome. and a large check. Awesome. So when you look at international trends, we the boys to men, uh, the boys from well, Sudan, Sudan project, project, which was That's a, a local. major yes. project. That was one where we actually provided dental care for the Sulis. Oh, nice. And when they came to the country here, the United States, there was really bad dental problems. Mm. And so the Lynx as a group were able to find dentists in the community who were ready to, to give services without awesome. um, um, pay here. That's so great. And then we also sponsored the shower for the couples that were getting recently married. The Sudanese. Yes, Sudanese. Nice. We also had a fashion show that mm -hmm. we was a fundraiser and was we dressed up in our African garb and nice. we were all parading around and sharing about um, a little about the uh, program for, right. inter for Sudanese program. That's awesome. I remember that. The Lost mm -hmm. Boys of Sudanese. Sudanese. Yes. 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 We, we actually partnered and was helping at my church. I was actually in Phoenix at that time. Mm -hmm. But I do remember when we had the, the group of yes. gentlemen mm -hmm. that came to the country. Yes. Right. They right. went to different cities. Some mm -hmm. of them ended up in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And I did not know that. that yes, they did. came. A lot of them came with dental issues. Yes. Oh, so right. that right. Yeah. which would mm -hmm. make sense mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's great that's a great program mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that you guys because I didn't know that about the links that you <laughs> partnered <laughs> and we partnered with Trinity Episcopalian right. Church mm -hmm. and you know different people were doing different things mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. our chapter said hey here's okay. a niche yes. not looking at the great big global mm -hmm. gestalt but looking at what the niche dental mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. right. and there was a number of dentists yes. that work with us awesome. uh, again aligned mm -hmm. with the yeah. international mm -hmm. trends mm -hmm. um, in the area of services to youth we continued with mm -hmm. all of our conferences and then we became very localized mm -hmm. with a program now that's working on STEM Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, with local school districts, mm -hmm. without naming school mm -hmm. districts, but the local school. And we have members that have been providing services to young people mm -hmm. at this school for at least five or six years awesome. on a mm -hmm. weekly basis, mm -hmm. a monthly basis, and they do everything you can imagine. Awesome. And we have on what we call an integrated program. Uh, and that is where all of the facets come together. And we work together on one project. Again, from the national, you can mm -hmm. do an integrated project. Mm -hmm. um, there's a group right now that are delivering Easter baskets. We okay. have a Thanksgiving Day dinner. These are all for foster kids. Awesome. All for foster kids. And we had a, a large um, workshop, which I was a little, mm -hmm. little leery about. How are we going to integrate the arts mm -hmm. into um, a, a foster program that deliver a program that foster kids would find even interesting. Well, from the arts, we focused on table settings. Nice. Mm -hmm. Not just going to McDonald's and mm -hmm. eating. What do you do when you sit down mm -hmm. at a table? Absolutely. Where mm -hmm. are the Etic silverware? Mm -hmm. Where's the glasses? Right. They loved it. And then awesome. we had um, kind of like an Oprah moment. Mm -hmm. They could go shopping. And awesome. we bought all kinds of things mm -hmm. that you can imagine for them to put in their rooms mm -hmm. or in their foster care 
houses. Awesome. So we kind of we, we kind of transition or jumped into it, but I definitely want you to um, let the viewers know about a lot of the the things that you're doing now. Right. So yeah. so yes. these are current programs. Yes. Right. Because yes. I know we were originally talking no, about some of um, your history, history. and kind mm -hmm. of what the links have yes. done over mm -hmm. these years mm -hmm. that have been amazing programming. So I just want to make sure that that these the are viewers are going understand ongoing. that these are ongoing yes. current programs yes. that you ladies are involved in. So I don't want them to miss that. I want them to know sure. that these are current programs yes. that you're working on, which are the arts and um, you are working with the foster youth in yes. that area. Mm -hmm. And then what are some the STEM other programs the STEM at the program schools, yes. at the schools mm -hmm. which is monthly. Yes. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And um, and do you bring in speakers to the school? Yes. Or yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And different speakers that have different expertise that we can share that skill with the students. And right. so they really get involved with them. And as Link Herrick was saying, the adequate, we set the tables and awesome. they uh, actually get a chance to socialize yes. and learn how to socialize Absolutely. and what that looks like. And so. I think um, that's um, almost becoming almost a lost art is table mm -hmm. etiquette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that is um, yeah. it's such a need for young people yes. to mm -hmm. just be able to understand that there's a difference between your dinner fork and your salad fork. Right. Exactly. And there's a place for, the sa uh, for your cell phone and it's not on the table. <laughs> Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. So I think right. young people need to know that mm -hmm. um, because again, um, they're going to be in settings mm -hmm. for their job and mm -hmm. for business mm -hmm. right. where you're going to need to know no, exactly. a table setting, and right. mm -hmm. when you sit down, you're going to need to know how to start eating mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a wonderful well, service what are the, or, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you're offering our, the kids. I'm excited mm -hmm. about is our desserts for charity. Mm -hmm. Every awesome. year, mm -hmm. this was our 18th year. Mm -hmm. Awesome, so you do desserts for we charity. We have a desserts for charity yeah. where we all get together mm -hmm. and have dessert that's now merged into a larger lunch. Okay, a but, meal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we actually partner with Next Door. It's all about nice. battered women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And they come, their representatives come. We bring money mm -hmm. and we bring ev the kinds of things that battered women's groups need. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So um, one of the things that we all enjoy is a number of us travel. Mm -hmm. So you should see, I bring my box of all of the toiletries from the mm -hmm. hotels that I've been Absolutely. in, and they love it. Mm -hmm. And so there are uh, two or three agencies that have been with us all these mm -hmm. years, awesome. and they send their community rep to just say thank you, awesome. and not only you know the blankets, the mm -hmm. kids, the books, whatever they require, awesome. we provide it, you and provide we've been it. doing it every single year in January for oh, 18 awesome. years. For 18 years. Yes. So that's another one of your programs yes. where mm -hmm. you team mm -hmm. up with the Batter Women's yes. Shelter mm -hmm. for 18 years. Shelters. Mm -hmm. Shelters. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. And you've been doing it for 18 yes. years. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. is there a way that the community can help you in this? Do you guys, or do you guys just do it all on your own? At this do time, we actually just bring in our items. You, so you bring we in do. your right. items. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. That's Because if do. there's mm -hmm. any opportunities for the community to partner with you or mm -hmm. to help you feel free to well, let us know oh, great and great segue <laughs> to okay. my, great segue <laughs> to mine absolutely <laughs> let us know Certainly keep how that in the mind. viewers yes. absolutely yes. can help you ladies mm -hmm. do the wonderful work that you're doing in the community Thank so you. feel free yes to. Mm -hmm. in our uh, Katranka Link Katranka talked to you about 1946 and yes. the two women that started the, mm -hmm. the links the reason they started mm -hmm. was because african-american mm -hmm. children did not have access to classical music. Mm -hmm. So one of our national programs is called Classics Across mm -hmm. the Ages. Okay. And on April 22nd okay. of this mm -hmm. year, That's this, up. Yes. Uh, we will have our spring recital. This will be our 14th or 15th recital. And it's all about young people performing at La Petite Trion mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Awesome. It's free. It's a free event. It's free. Mm -hmm. We've partnered, awesome. I've partnered, we've partnered with Jack and Jim. We've yes. partnered with several other, with uh, the Santa Clara County Black Educators Association, mm -hmm. with music teachers, but it's all student run. Awesome. The, and this uh, this information is on your website, and we have the flyer, right? Yes. You sent mm -hmm. me the, yes. So we're going to drop that flyer Thank so you. that people can mm -hmm. learn about the event or get the dates yes. and the times yes. and, and come to It's that. magical. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you ever awesome. want to see magical children, young people, they're elementary and middle school, mm -hmm. and they play the classics. Awesome. 
and I've had people ask me, Harriet, where did you find him? I didn't even know about these, this young man. Mm -hmm. And they're everywhere, private schools, public schools, and you know, aunt, somebody's cousin, Awesome. And they are just, it I mean, makes you feel good. Awesome. And it's important to invite your friends and kids and children, grandkids, because they can be inspired. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. So we're going to drop that information oh, sure. Thank on the, you. in the show. Thank and you. And another event that I want you ladies to talk oh. about is your author's oh, event. All the author's That's event. your yes. signature okay. fundraiser. Yes. Can yes. you tell us about that event? Um, my, again, our love for the arts. Yes literacy arts evolved about 15 or 16 years ago mm -hmm. and how can we bring the community into our love of reading and so we start inviting mm -hmm. authors mm -hmm. and we partnered with Barnes and Noble and we started having the authors mm -hmm. luncheon and I know you've been one of our guests. Yes, yes. yes. thank you. I yes. am. Can I, if I can plug the event, <laughs> I was actually one of the featured authors at the San Jose yes. Lynx Signature Fundraiser this mm -hmm. past November, mm -hmm. and it was a beautiful event. Well, thank you. Everything from mm -hmm. beginning to end, it was so impressive. Thank I just you. felt mm -hmm. so welcomed, and right. I was so honored to mm -hmm. be um, with the other authors mm -hmm. and yes. to be partnered with you ladies. Mm -hmm. Again, it was just just standing up there talking mm -hmm. and looking at the room. The room was absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. And your event, it was amazing. It was <laughs> well, absolutely thank you. amazing. We yeah. invite people to come, This and usually in November. November, yes. And this monies are raised and we use for scholarships. So awesome. it's a very important piece of our program. Is to for foster kids okay. so we can give uh, scholarships as well. So awesome. we're really excited about that. Awesome. So again, activity. this is um, their signature fundraiser mm -hmm. that's yes. every November, yes. and you guys always have the information on mm -hmm. your website. That's correct. So mm -hmm. um, feel free to um, support their authors' luncheon. And as we wrap, um, is there anything else that we may not have covered already that you want the viewers to know about the Link San Jose, either on a national or a local level? Feel free to share that now. I would like to thank you, number one, and one of my favorite African proverbs, and you've achieved that today. If the lion does not tell his story, <laughs> it will only be told to the mouth of the hunter. Absolutely. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, ladies, mm -hmm. for coming. Yeah, it was and very nice to be here and thank to share you. information. And hopefully, uh, if there are any questions, please plug into our website. We're Absolutely. To. And we're going to um, have your website um, yes. at the end of okay. before we run yes. the credits so that people can click on your website and learn more about the organization. So again, Thank you, ladies. Thank for you. Me. Thank this you. has been great. And I just want to thank everybody for tuning in for another episode of Real mm -hmm. Talk with Terry. And again, I like to leave you all on something positive. Just remember that yesterday, what is, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Mm -hmm. Today is a gift, which is why we call it the present. So make this 24 count. Thank you for mm -hmm. tuning in. And thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Enjoyed you. Enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.